My first poem is called Renewal. From the early autumn, holidays have filled me. Anticipation, pleasure, self-satisfaction, daydreams, sharings, greetings, nostalgia, romances, disappointments, conversations, mysteries, imagination. I have been remembering and forgetting. Now I am empty. In January, those symbols I was holding onto are gone. It is the time to rebuild me inside. The mystery of me is that there is still emptiness to be filled. a blessing. It's hard for me to remember, she said when I went home to visit, but, but I believe she'd be two years younger, younger than you if she had lived. And so as I watched her sip the black coffee, she said, it was a miracle for me to get pregnant at all. And to think of that night I lost her with you alone so many years later. And I believe she said things happen for a reason, but that doesn't make them any easier since I feel lost without the daughter and sister you never knew and never will know. That is something that I think about every so often to realize how old she'd be, 20, two years younger than my beautiful Bond baby in college. She touched my warm cheek. You are the blessing in my life, she said, and wrapped her arms around me. I love you more than anything else in this world. A blessing is what she said. mom, everybody has a story, and my mom, Patty Harmon. The sun was setting on the dishwater, the detergent forming bubbles. In this perfection under the kitchen window, blood clots gathered like storm clouds over purple seas. Tears splashed like waves. I was glowing blind. As a teacher, I noticed parts of textbook letters disappearing. My head moved to accommodate vanishing punctuation. Curbs caused caution in my steps. Fear paralyzed me until this spring evening in my ch childhood home. I was 24 years old. I had other things to do. Diabetes governed my life from the age of 10. I practiced hiding it. No one saw the injection insertions. Doctors frightened me. Mother nagged. Approaches to disease were different in the 50s. I became a dramatic actress, forever pretending I felt fine. High school and college were superb stages for this suburban Jersey girl. Drugstore novels guided me into fantasies. I was the deserving princess following women of my time into successful careers. Television and working women were new concepts as the 60s unfolded. I was a hippie wannabe, visualizing poetry readings in dark coffee houses. My curly hair never grew. My poetry was simple. Following college, my parents believed in work. Teaching was temporary. The world awaited Patricia Ullman, blindness interrupted. In the spring of 1969, the dramatic role of my life commenced. I learned to smile rather than sob. Doctors sent me to Colorado Springs for experimental treatments. Alone and terrified, I stuck out my hand and grinned, often. Colorful clothes and puffy hairdos became obsolete. I must not be a wallflower at my life's party. If I were going to walk with a long white cane, I must look damn good doing it. It worked. I earned a master's degree in special education from the University of Northern Colorado. When I believed the world longed for a newly blinded teacher, just one opportunity developed. In Alamogordo, New Mexico, I traveled Greyhound to the desert celebrating employment. For 30 years, I taught at the New Mexico School for the Visually Handicapped. I married, raised a daughter, divorced. Looking back, the normalcy of my life surprises me. I did it blind. I don't understand how it happened. From that night in the kitchen, I realized the necessity to move forward. Blindness never, my never removed my love for fashion and fringe. Visual memory thrives. I have not seen my daughter, but I have known her beauty forever. Together, we roam New York City and the Jersey Shore, sharing poetry and possibilities. She describes the world to me with dramatic flair. In retirement, I return to New Jersey, reluctantly, perhaps. These decisions and change demand pauses. It's tough to leave comfort zones. New friends, new rules, new poetry. It is a challenge to be a blind woman in today's world. The desire to fit in, immediate acceptance, stimulates my imagination. I remain an actress in an ordinary life 
forever seeking the extraordinary. Once a dishwater decision directed me forward. Thank you so much. Happy birthday. I love you, Mom.